I am Ra, and today we're going on a journey to balance to the emotional bodies and anchor to the physical plane, which includes a personalized healing transmission. So make yourself very comfortable, and now we start. We have done many things before that help balance the emotional body and today I'm going to work primarily with fluids, liquids in the body and how to balance the fluids in the system. So this is a little different than what we have done before but it will be very thorough. Now basically, if you are familiar at all with a leveller, something with a bubble in it that shows you if you are tipped a little to the left or a little to the right. That is essentially the system or something like that system that we are going to use for the emotional body. Now it is much more ex extensive than that because we're going to deal with balancing tissues, say in the kidneys, the brain, the spinal column, the lungs. There are fluids literally in pretty much every aspect of your body. And we go into each system and literally level things. So please, for about 45, 55 minutes today, please do not be disturbed for your healing. So, as we begin, we are going to start at the bottoms of your feet. We're going to see pretty much the pads of your feet. Again, you sort of tune in and sometimes you can feel the fluid. Fluid is always in motion. Sometimes you can feel it sort of rocking or swaying under your feet. Like one of those inserts under your feet of sort of gel or of water that has a little give to it or a little sway. Kind of something like being on a boat, really. What we want to do with the bottoms of the feet is either to get the image of the leveller where the bubble is perfectly in the centre or just give the command Level now. As a result of doing this, the body will begin to come into balance. You may think, gee, now it feels like I've got more pressure on one foot and less pressure on the other. Or in some other way, the body is responding to that particular command. We are going to work next with the pelvic region, really the whole pelvic region and what is going to include the bladder, the hip bones, the colon to a great degree. And there are several other things in there like joints. We want to work with the pelvic, pelvis as one mechanism here. And you might get the sense that it is off kilter a little bit. And maybe the sacrum is out of alignment or one leg is a little longer than the other right now for some other reason. We give a direct command into the pelvic area to come into a level position. Just breathe if you are seeing it teetering there or the image of a seesaw teetering and then coming into perfect balance. There, 
We are generally here in the pillars. It does seem like suddenly you are present in the body and there might be a little more weight. You can do this standing or sitting. If you are sitting, you might feel almost like, goodness, the tailbone is trying to go through the chair. Hmm. Or something. That is just fine. There should be a little more pressure there. Next, we are going to the head. We are working actually inside the head. There is something there. Some say it looks like a butterfly, or a bat wings, or a pelvis. It is actually a bone structure inside the head called the spinous bone, spin sp spinoid bone. That is the next thing we want to bring to level. Now this one may feel like it has a strong rotation there. You may get the urge to stretch your neck a little bit or yawn. Or maybe pull on the ear a little bit. The body may be urging you to make some adjustments. And I would say, follow the body. Again, we are working inside the skull, asking it to come into a level position. Come into balance. Keep breathing. This is the one most misaligned on everyone. There we go. Good. The body does listen. And now we work with a blue laser beam. Laser beam I think is a bit more contemporary and indicates that it cannot be a crumpled image. So visualize a blue laser beam. So we work with this blue laser beam coming straight down through the top of the head quite safely, down through the body. And this is an anic axis, a central axis with the chakras to align. Sometimes it is a blue-violet or a blue-green, but that blue string or laser also has the effect of neutralizing the emotional body if it is a bit disrupted at the moment. Good. Ah, that's wonderful. Okay, now, then we go next to the shoulders, much like we balance the pelvis. We go next to the shoulders again. Once the head is on straight, there is a noticing that one shoulder is a little higher than the other, or there is more tension on one side of the neck than the other. So we are looking really kind of across the shoulder blades there but also across the collarbones in front of the body. We ask that to come to exact centre or level. Sometimes the muscles that are holding those bones into place, the liquid starts moving in the muscles and you may notice some pulling or unwinding. Good. Excellent. 
Now I want you to go to the kidneys and working with the kidney chi. Again, this is timely. This time of the year, but also because most light workers are deficient in their kidneys chi. Let's ask as a pair that the kidneys and those fluids balance. And again, there might be a sense of the body swaying or rocking a little bit here. Give the command for those energies to come to the level. Keep breathing as long as the breath is moving. The energies will do their work. Whenever you are holding the breath, no matter how well you are visualizing, the energy is not getting through. Now sometimes a ring of energy, kind of a circle of light, starts flowing between the two kidneys. That would be a good image to see. It means that they are communicating and using reciprocal flow of information rather than switching back and forth. There. Good. Now we will go to the lungs. And again, as a pair in the body, we are going to let the lungs balance and come to level. Now, if there is anything going on in the lungs, a little scar tissue, pollution, perhaps some mucus and that sort of thing, it will take a little bit longer here in the lungs. Keep the breath moving. Again, with the lungs, one takes over for the other. What we want to do is work together in flow not taking turns, but both functioning at the same time. For the lungs, you can see the symbol of infinity flowing back and forth between the lungs. This is very important because that determines whether or not oxygen is getting to the tissues. Without oxygen, the tissues cannot survive. So we want those lungs working as well as they can work. Please come to the level or centre in our balancing fluids here. Good. Just give me a few moments more. Let's go to the eyes next. Same thing because we are working in pairs. Here again, I like the symbol of infinity going through, actually, maybe even in the center of the head, a figure eight on its side. And we can put that in there in a beautiful white light flowing. You can even trace that in the front of your head with your finger pointing up towards the eyes and sort of make that symbol of infinity instead of eyeglasses there on top of the eyes. And now, next, I would do go to the ovaries or testes, depending on which you happen to have in this physical environment. Again, we see them functioning perfectly together. If any particular parts have been altered or removed, Say there is one ovary remaining or whatnot. 
see two in perfect form, no matter what. Again, balancing those. First, we set up the reciprocal flow of energy, and then we level or balance it precisely. Good. Sometimes you'll feel that go, go down both legs depending upon what you are working with. But the natural flow there is to come back to a sense of being grounded or connected to the earth. So our next point will be the knees. The knee energy is very interesting. Knees that bend well knees that bend without pain indicate more flexibility in life. Knees that are stiff or otherwise don't have a very good range of motion for whatever reason. Maybe there was an injury or whatnot indicate less flexibility in life. In true New Age fashion that Please do not use that information against yourself or against others. It is never to be used for shame or blame, just recognition. And sometimes it is quite therapeutic. Some may have been too flexible early in life and become less flexible later in life on purpose. The soul is balancing things. Okay, that's good. Let the balance now. So I think the elbows are next. And I think we will do the arms in general. So we are really working with the elbows because again, they bend. The flex is a sign of flexibility. Both the knees and elbows relate to inner authority. In other words, how comfortable are you with your inner power? If you are still uncomfortable with outer power and other authority figures, then you are not at peace with your inner authority. So the elbows, or you might see it in the arms again, reciprocal flow, and then we are bringing that to an energy balance. Now, if you've got the image of a leveller or some other thing like a seesaw or whatever, and then it gets perfectly level, you can get the sense of locking it in place. It is almost a snap on the inner planes, or like you could take a picture of a level to capture the photons of level. You might be seeing scales of justice perfectly level. Take sort of a metal snapshot of it because it does help set that into place. Uh, so just studying in the body here, where I'd like to go next. The next one is a bit more complex. We will go into the brain. Now the brain has a lot of sections and segments and of course we have the spinal cord which also has the cerebral spinal fluid, fluid in it. So we are working with all that fluid first that surrounds the brain and sometimes what we do is to equalize the pressure in one cell there and then the rest of them follow suit. You can either start with that fluid somewhere around the brain or in the spinal column at any point. If you are going to work with it from the most powerful point, it would be towards the sacrum. The very base of the spinal cord is the most potent place to make a change 
and then it travels upward. So let's go into the cerebral spinal fluid. And in general, you can just get the image of the leveler that serves that area and see, is it level? Has it been quite tipped? Is it just slightly askew? This one might take a little while. Your cerebral spinal fluid reacts to the planetary influences and it reacts usually before anything else. So you might get muffled sounds in the ear, a slight dizzy sense, maybe slight hallucination, kind of passing in front of the eyes, and a few other things happen, but basically just the sensation that you could easily tip over. That is the one I have been seeing most frequently and you might be feeling it again. Now, even though we have done all of the other lovely stabilizing work. There we go, that was fairly easy. It took less time than we anticipated. Okay. Now we go into the brain and I will deal with the brain as a whole component rather than its compartments. Just see the brain as one whole unit and again kind of rather large leveler right inside the center of the brain. Of course the range of motion is interesting. The head tipping back a little bit to the sides a bit the eyes might start to correspond again, even though we've already balanced those. So take your time to get the brain balanced and absolutely level. Everything should be coming back to normal too. Just give you a few moments. I'm quite safe those feelings come back. should be right by now. Great. Now one of the most affecting the solar plexus now is the pancreas. The pancreas is a little off to the left side of the rib cage, there in the solar plexus region. The pancreas is a very important in terms of sugars, sweetness of life, joy of life. We want to see that really balancing out here because it does have a very strong effect upon the emotional body. You might even see a leveler right there inside the pancreas coming into a perfect leveling. And the message coming back to humanity on these sugar balances is to find the sweetness within and not to look externally, but to balance the eternal joy. So here I'm looking at the body again. I want to work with that blue laser beam again. Or a blue stream of light, whichever you prefer that goes from the top of the head all the way down through to the earth. See that perfectly straight and see all the systems coming into alignment there. 
cool. Let's go directly now into the emotional body. The emotional body, like everything in creation, has a mane. Just like you might look at a human being and say, that is a person over there. And then, as we get into the subtitles, there is an etheric field, there is an emotional body, there is a spiritual presence. So each thing in creation has much more depth than is obvious upon first glance. To get into the emotional body, you discover there are several bodies, but primarily four emotional bodies that get the attention more frequently. What we want to do is to balance those four emotional bodies. They do correspond to elements, to directions, or kingdoms. Each body is time, if you will. So take a moment to work with the water element in a watery, emotional body we will start there. Again, bringing that perfectly level, the water body, and another way of saying that it is properly pressurized. So let's go next to the air element. In Tibet, we work with the three elements, and in China, they work with fire, or five elements. So I'm going to work with four today because they are the most common. Air and again here we might feel like drifting upward, kind of like a helium balloon where the air element of the emotional body is off balance. There is a tendency of lack, of grounding or to have thoughts scattered. Sometimes it feels like you need to actually grab the air body and pull it down a little bit and maybe anchor it, say in the first chakra, like you might take a cluster of balloons and tether them so that they don't float away. That is one image that works very well for the air body and it will bring in the balance. You might want them tethered between the feet as another place. And then there is a little more sensation in the legs as well. You have got that air element of the emotional body nicely grounded. That one works better for this group. So the fire is next. The fiery aspect of the emotional body sometimes shows up as flames and you have got some little flames and some wondrous flames spiking higher and that you want a nice even display of flames if you are seeing it that way. You can still use the image of the leveler with the bubbling going to center. When this element is balanced, the lungs tend to work better. Next we'll go to the earth element for those who work with wood. I would consider earth and wood together. So the earth and wood element, if you are working with five, you can add just wood but I would consider earth to contain that element in this particular exercise for the emotional body. So we get earthy aspect here in the emotional center and just request that it became completely balanced or centered or leveled. Good. This particular element in the emotional body allows you to feel more as you are in more touch with the body. How exactly is that joint repairing now? How is that ulcer healing? Tuning in, did I just get exposed to a virus? 
and then you take your colonial silver right away or homeopathics etc do it the emotional body as a whole now let's go into that The sensation that I would get here, one of the exercises, is something like the Tai Chi stance. With firmly planted feet, sturdy knees bent, you are working with the energy coming up from the earth. Almost like if you were to pack a carton of rice, or a pack of carton of ice cream, or something. You are starting towards the feet, and packing, 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 coming up the body, packing and making it very dense while you keep your feet in this lovely position. As you get up above the head, there is a sense of just pushing down on that or sort of tension and release. Tension and release. So you get kind of a feeling that the emotional body is now very, very solid, like a rock, literally unshakable, solid and well balanced. And then the hands return to the current of the earth. So the palms are towards the earth, a little bit there, and there is a sensation feeling of the energy coming up from the earth. The magnetic field really that is holding your body to the earth. And that is what you are in tune with as your grounding force would be the magnetic, magnetic hold of the planet. Good. And now the vibration of orange, a very happy colour. Fifth ray, it is considered a mental colour. But of course when you're working with the emotional body, it equates to joy. So bring in a bright, happy orange. And exuberantly feel the joy. Allow the energy of orange to create balance and joy because when the emotional body is happy, a lot of other things are happy in a sense that your basic leveler, your overall is steady. Keep it level. Let's not have too much drama. And or too high, be too high, or too low. When everything is as steady as possible, you have got one leveler gauge or balance unit of some sort that you have that you check. This one. Good. Excellent. Now, of course, a happy orange flame wants to stay upon the planet. It wants to be anchored to the physical flame. It really enjoys it. It's like saying that the flame should dance through the air and not be anywhere near the wood or something. A flame comes up from source of light or the source of energy. So the source of energy is the physical flame. You are a physical incarnate being and your source of energy comes from the physical plane. Now you have also that spirit in there igniting things. We want to see that all important flame burn like a bright beautiful light when I'm tethered to the earth plane. When I love physical existence, that is when I have the most energy, the most vibrancy and can do the most good in the world. Well, the group is, as usual, consistently finishing a little early. With all the energy work, you've just finely chewed and very aware. 
and immediately invoke the energy which is good. Sometimes I put a little icing on the cake. However, this time I think that would be counterproductive to do another process or to drag out the clouds. So I am going to leave you with your beautiful image of a kind of lovely earth. Give thanks to the earth and as that energy is followed through to Goddess Isis and Archangel Michael. Those are the beings that really give you physical existence. And then Helios, the Sun, and other players in the solar system, all giving you this beautiful existence. So just give thanks outward in that direction. Keep your sense of being level, balanced and centered. Beautiful Mother Earth and the bright orange flame. Blessings as always. Thank you and my love to you. I am Ra.